family. On behalf of Ashley and Karis, I know they're very happy that you can be here with them on this very special day. This afternoon, we're gathered together to witness and bless the joining together in marriage of Ashley and Karis. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It's a union founded on love. Karis, I'm going to come take your bouquet for you, and then I'll have the two of you face each other and join both of each other's hands. <coughs> And I ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here today. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding. Because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day. Promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength. Tenderness when you need tenderness. And love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. And these are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things have brought you all the way to Valley of Fire, to the very beautiful Seven Sisters, already to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly. And I know the two of you realize this. These vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, Ashley, I have a question for you. Do you take care of to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Then please repeat after me. I, Ashley, take you, Karis, to be my wife. I, Ashley, take you, Karis, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. Karis, are you ready to say your marriage vows? Yes. <laughs> and I also have a question for you. Do you take Ashley to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him? comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him as long as you both shall live. I do. Then please repeat after me. I, Karis, take you, Ashley, to be my husband. I, Karis, take you, Ashley, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. Perfect. <laughs> and now if I can have you each hold one another's wedding ring for a moment. Yes. Throughout time, the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love. Because, like time, your rings have no beginning and no end. They're a circle. They're the emblem of eternity. They're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish. These things symbolize the pledges that you just finished making to one another. But above all else, your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in marriage. Ashley, please place Karis's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Karis, I give you this ring. Karis, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Go ahead and slide it all the way up. Perfect. Karis, please place Ashley's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Ashley, I give you this ring. Ashley, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Go ahead and slide it all the way up. 
I'll have the two of you face this way, just hand in hand. I'll give you a little payback. Oh, thank you. Thank you. In just a moment, I'm going to pronounce you husband and wife. Before I do that, I'd like to say a couple brief things about marriage. They're brief, and they're things the two of you know, but the important part is to keep them in mind. Marriage is being a love for the rest of your life. It's love walking hand in hand with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other even though from time to time the two of you may be very far apart. It's getting over disappointments and small hurts, knowing that these are present from time to time in every relationship. It's a realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with, and certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing old together, but most of all, marriage is being love for the rest of your life. Ashley and Karis, you said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by your family here today. You've sealed those vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings. So now it's my very great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And Ashley, you may kiss your beautiful bride and your new wife. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. and Mrs. Ashley Clark. It's official. Woohoo!